We're going to pray. Mm. Let me tell you what some mothers does behind the scene that you don't know. How can your own mother discuss with her friend thinking of how to eat you? A mother, a witchcraft mother, discussing how to eat her own child. If that can even come out from their own mouth, conceived it from their mouth, who would they not eat? Who will they not kill? Who will they not eat? Habara hapasata klehisia. See what he said. Second King six, verse twenty eight and twenty nine. And the king said unto her, What ailed thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son, that we may eat him today, and we will eat mine tomorrow. So we bore my son, and we did eat witchcraft. Witchcraft. Many mothers are like that. They don't care about what happened to you. They don't care. Listen to me. I'm not saying you should kill your mother. But let the Holy Ghost decide. Let the Holy Ghost decide tonight. Because everything about them is about what they will get from you. What they will get from you. If care is not taken, a time is coming where some mother will prefer their own children will write their own will and put them in their will. God will expose all of them. I say every woman, whether a stepmother, whether a mother, whether your auntie, that is looking for how to destroy you so that you will inherit what you have, they shall die your death. I say they shall die your death. They shall die your death. In the name of Jesus. Somebody says it is not possible. It is possible. Too possible. Too possible. A mother had his child and name him my husband i've said it here many times name him my husband and everybody began to say my husband my husband my, and the young man grew up and got married i asked the wife i said i said was your mother-in-law in supportive of your marriage she said yes she said yes he said but things turned the other way around when she had her first when he has her first and only child a girl what happened they began to laugh at her in the cover as they began to laugh at her in the cover they said to her your husband nothing give you belly as in your husband could not impregnate you the wife that she has just married had had a child for her for him and the woman got angry in the realm of the spirit and released sickness over over suppose her own son husband wife and she began to get and she was she was not sick for 24 years she was sick for 24 years before she met me when i'm saying to somebody in this room make comment to every prayer every prophetic word that i release over you you are making you are making you are look, making it look as if and forcing you is your business it's your business whether you like it or not i'm a blazing fire i'm blazing on i am not speaking of myself the things i carry bear witness of me the things the spirit that is in me bear witness of me i am unstoppable i am unstoppable no demon can stop me no demon no power they have tried they have tried they cannot they can't they can't do it i told the woman hold on stay here and watch what's going to happen they pressure her and they move highway how did we know it was our own pastor in the village that revealed to her it was not by prophecy the pastor was also a member of that covenant so you know what we are dealing with when we are telling you things when we are telling you when i'm telling you things it is not because i am i have the experience i have seen them i've seen them manifest that's why you need to pray tonight 
every every covenant that your mother enters into or your stepmother enters into your aunt entered into many of you stayed with your aunt your aunt you stayed with them and they enter into a covenant with a demon that is troubling you you are going to lose yourself tonight you're going to deliver yourself some of you are sick not because not because you you are you do not adhere to hygiene or the hygienic environment it is because a sickness has been sponsored to fight you that's why you are sick listen to me tonight you're going to disconnect yourself are you ready to pray the woman said bring your own son let us boil him today let us eat him today you tomorrow we will eat my own the mumu woman the mumu woman if she is not a wish why will she even succumb to boiling entering entering into an agreement because of hunger she enters into an agreement to eat her own son and then the following day the to she told the other woman say bring your son the, the other woman said no you know what happened i can't eat my son some wish still good though in that, in that area, they protect their own children. Some wish. They call it white wish. But black wish, African wish. No way. Say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray tonight, I command every covenant entered into on my behalf by my mother, my stepmother, my auntie, any human persons that enters into a covenant that is causing pain in my life. Holy Ghost Father, break that covenant. By the blood of Jesus, I command, let that covenant be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray.